Dear students, welcome to our science episodes. Today, in episode one, we are going to talk about motion in one direction. Today, we are going to discuss motion in one direction. Motion, as you can see in this picture, motion is the change in the object position as time passes according to the position of another object, which is constant. So which is constant here? The traffic light. Of course, the traffic light is the constant object, and the car is the moving object. So if we compare the position of the car to the traffic light that is constant or stationary, we will find that the car is moving. We assume that the motion occurred in one direction as when the train moves forward or backward, but it does not move upward or downward. Look to this train, it is moving forward in one direction, in a straight line. It's not moving upward or downward. It's not changing its direction. The simplest type of motion is the motion in a straight line in one direction. The path of motion may be straight, curved, or a combination of both. This is a straight motion. When the object will move in one direction in a straight line. And this is a curved motion. Look to this, look to this basketball. It's having a curved path. It's moving in a curved path while this player is having a combined motion, straight one, and then he will bend his body to do a curved motion. Can we describe or measure motion? How? Motion can be described as fast or slow by speed. So we can assume that speed is how fast or slow the motion is. It's a physical quantity used to describe and measure the movement of objects. We use the following equation to measure speed. We measure speed by getting the distance and the time needed for this distance to be covered. So the speed is measured in meters per second, distance in meter, and time in second. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. Look at this example. The blue car will move 300 meters, this is of course the distance, in 50 seconds, while the yellow car will move 200 meters in also 50 seconds. This is the time. Which car is faster? Take a second to think. Yes, the blue car is faster because it covers more distance in the same time. The time is fixed, but the blue car covered more distance. So, of course, it's faster. What are the two factors that determine speed? It's, they are in front of your eyes. The distance, number one, the distance, and number two, the time. Another example. The blue car will move 200 meters in 50 seconds, while the yellow car will move 200 meters the same distance, but it will take two minutes. Which car is faster? The blue car is faster. Why? Because it covers the same distance but in less time. And again, what are the two factors that determine speed? The distance and time. Here is a question for you. A car covers 200 meters in 5 seconds Calculate its speed. If we know the equation for measuring or calculating speed, which is distance over time or distance divided by time, so we will divide 200 meters 
by 5 seconds, which will give 40 meters per second. Another example, two cars are moving in a straight line. The first covers 50 meters in 5 seconds, while the second covers 25 meters in 2.5 seconds. Calculate the speed of each car. Again, the same rule, speed equal distance divided by time. The first car will cover 50 meters divided by 5 seconds, which is equal to 10 meters per second. The second car will cover 25 meters in 2.5 seconds, which is equal to 10 meters per second. So both cars are moving with the same speed. Speed is the distance moved through a unit time. Speed is calculated by dividing the distance by time. Speed is directly proportional to distance and inversely proportional to time taken. There are three types of speed. Uniform speed, irregular speed, and relative speed. In the first type, uniform speed, look at this example. You can see that this car will cover one kilometer in one minute. After the second minute, another one kilometer is covered. After three minutes, also one kilometer is covered. So it's moving by a constant uniform speed. What is the distance covered by the car in each minute? Of course, it's one kilometer. Does the car cover equal distances in equal periods of time? Yes. First minute, one kilometer. Second minute, one kilometer. Third minute, one kilometer. What is the speed of the car? So, here it's tricky. The unit for calculating speed is meter per second. And here, the units are kilometer and minutes. So, we have to convert them into meters and seconds. So, one kilometer means 1,000 meters. And one minute, it means 60 seconds. So, 1,000 meters divided by 60 seconds will give me 16.6 meter per second. Does the car move at regular uniform speed? Of course, yes. When the object is moving at regular uniform speed, then the moving object will cover equal distances at equal periods of time. So here is a question for you. What is meant by the regular uniform speed of the train is 90 km per hour. This means that the train is moving with a constant speed and it's covering 90 km every hour. Every single hour, the train will cover 90, a distance of 90 kilometers. Here we can see that speed equal distance divided by time, so 90,000 divided by 3,600, which is the hour converted to seconds, equal 25 meters per second. This is the calculated speed. We can use this formula or this equation for regular uniform speed only. If the object is covering equal distances in equal periods of time. Let's take this example. A moving car in a straight line records the following covered distances in the following times. So you can see that in five seconds, this car will cover 10 meters. After another five seconds, or total 10 seconds, the distance will be covered 20 meters. Here the time is x, nobody knows it, and the distance is 15 meters. The time here is 40 seconds, distance 20 meters, 50 seconds. Here the distance is not known, and then 60 seconds, and the distance is 30 meters. 
If we represent these numbers in a graph or in a table, in this table, you can see that this is the distance in meters and this is the time in seconds. And we will represent these numbers in a table. Calculate the speed of the moving object and identify the type of the speed in 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, identify the type of the speed and find the value of x and y. So number one, calculate the speed of the moving object. Here we go. Speed equal distance divided by time, which is 10 divided by 5, 20 divided by 10, 40 divided by 20, 60 divided by 30. All of them will give the 2 meters per second as a speed. The object is having a regular uniform speed. Why? Because it covers equal distances in equal periods of time. If we want to get the distance x, so we have to multiply the speed by time. What is the speed? It's here, 2. And what is the time? 15 seconds. So 2 times 15 equals 30 meters. If we want to get the value of the time y, so we will divide the distance, which is the 50, by the speed. So 50 divided by 2, which is the speed, we will get 25 seconds. What about irregular speed? Look at this car. This car is covering 3 meters in 1 second. And in two seconds, the distance covered is eight meter. In the third second, the distance covered is 15 meters. No object can move with regular uniform speed all the time, because in real life, the moving object will face things that will make it slow down or change the speed in a way or another, such as the traffic. This is called irregular speed. So irregular speed is covering unequal distances in unequal periods of time. So the speed is called to be irregular or non-uniform when the object will cover equal distances at unequal periods of time or covers unequal distances in equal periods of time. So if the distances are unequal or the time is unequal, we call the speed irregular. In this case, we will calculate the average speed, not the speed. Known as the total distance covered divided by the total time taken to cover this distance. Here is the average speed, which is equal to the total distance divided by the total time. What is meant by the average speed of the car is 60 km per hour. And take care, it's telling you the average speed. Because the average speed means that the car will cover the whole 60 meters in one hour. Here is another question for you. Calculate the average speed of a car covering 1,200 meters in two minutes. Again, we calculate the average speed by dividing the total distance by the total time, which is 1,200 meters divided by 120 seconds, which will give 10 meters per second. The third question for you, what is moving with a constant, regular, uniform speed in space? Take a second to think about something moving in the space by a regular, constant, and uniform speed. Yes, it's light. All types of electromagnetic waves and the light is one of them. Light is having a constant speed, which is 300,000 km per second, or 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Now. Let's watch this video together.
Which travels faster, Usain Bolt or a Formula One car? In this video, we'll find out how to calculate speed using distance and time, which we'll then use to work out the answer to who's faster. Speed is a measure of the distance an object travels in a certain time. Speed can be calculated using the formula speed equals distance travelled divided by time. So to work out which is faster, Usain Bolt or the F1 car, we need to know how far they both travelled and how long it takes them to cover that distance. Let's work out the speed of Usain Bolt first. In 2009, Usain Bolt set the world record for the 100 meter sprint in 9.58 seconds. The distance was 100 meters. The time taken was 9.58 seconds. Using the formula of speed equals distance divided by time, 100 meters divided by 9.58 seconds means his speed was 10.44 meters per second. We have the units for distance and time, meters and seconds, which we use to work out the units for the speed. Meters divided by seconds, which we say as meters per second. That's pretty impressive, even for the fastest man on earth. So how fast is an F1 car for us to compare him to? Pause the video and work it out. Did you get 375 kilometers per hour? So who's faster? Hmm, from these speeds, we can't tell. What's the problem with comparing these two answers? Pause the video and have a think. To work out which is traveling faster, the units of speed must be the same. So let's convert the Formula One speed also into meters per second. Kilometers into meters multiply by a thousand and turn one hour into seconds by multiplying by 60 for minutes and then 60 again for seconds. So 375,000 meters divided by 3,600 seconds gives us 104.2 meters per second. Now we have our speeds in the same units, it's easy to see that the Formula One car is much, much faster. The formula can also be written in a formula triangle. Speed equals distance divided by time. Time equals distance divided by speed. And distance equals speed multiplied by time. Here are two questions for you to do. Pause the video and work them out. Did you get them right? A distance of 150 kilometers and a time of 1.66 hours, which is one hour 40 minutes. So now you can calculate speed, distance and time and understand a little bit about the units of speed and of course have proved that a Formula One car is faster than even the fastest person on the planet. Thank you for watching and see you later in another episode.